Halo bro, mau jemput printer? Oke sip, tinggal bawa ya. ya. Hello everyone, back with me again Dennis Wang and I just finished in-depth testing for my Sonic Mighty 4K. But first I want to talk about the build plate. I like the design for holder on each side. And also it is very comfortable to hold. And there is a stopper at the back here. So you could set your build plate and it will place nice and firm and about the resin tank i have a mixed opinion it is made from plastic uh, but also it is very lightweight i like the lightweight aspect of this resin tank because it is very comfortable to hold when you want to clean your resin tank and now let us check the in-depth test that i done to my sonic mighty 4k but before that don't forget to subscribe like the video and share if you want Thank you. Multiple exposure works really well. Now let's get a close up look. So after I set my resin exposure using the multiple exposure and I start the first stability torture test and it is not looking good uh, but then I think uh, maybe this is a new printer so not all the lead screw and rail well lubricated so I add more lubricants using dry PTFE as frozen recommended and this is the second step Sorry, I mean this is the second test which I stopped halfway because it is also not looking good. So I ditch dry PTFE and then I use dry, uh, sorry, I mean I use super loop. Looking good. So I made the final stability torture test. This is the X axis and this is the Y axis. And both are awesome so I will suggest to use super loops if you are having a wobble or maybe bad print lines with your printer now let's check the anti-aliasing test and this is the anti-aliasing anti test anti-aliasing uh, anti-aliasing anti yeah whatever uh, this is the zero anti-aliasing or no anti-aliasing, grayscale 0, 2, 4, gray, grayscale 6, this is gray, grayscale 0, image blur 2, and this is grayscale 0, image blur 4. Oh, oh, oh my tongue. Now let's have a close-up look.
Okay, from my anti-aliasing test, I find that gray scale zero and image blur four is the best settings, uh, especially to get rid of the fox line. And if you look at the stepping lines here, this need more complicated calculation uh, like the size of the pixel, the angle of the object, and etc. and etc. to complicate it. Uh, what important for me is voxel line is gone. And if you look at over here, we have a print lines. This is normal if you are using anti-aliasing settings. We can get rid of this by raising the exposure. So why do we have print lines if we are using anti-aliasing? Because without anti-aliasing, the light intensity is full. But with anti-aliasing, the light intensity is less because of the blur settings from the anti-aliasing, which means less exposure to the print object. That is why you need to raise the exposure again if you want to get rid of the print lines here. Okay, now let's move on to the final test with some minis figure. I have here a uh, minis that I print at the top here. Both print by Sonic Mini 4K and over here by Mighty 4K. This is without anti-aliasing, without anti-aliasing, this is with anti-aliasing, and this also with anti-aliasing. Uh, if you look up closely, I notice something fun. Uh, without anti-aliasing, it looks dull, but with anti-aliasing, it looks shiny. Uh, now we are going to look at the close-up for these minis to check the detail. Now let's first look at the print from Mighty 4K. I could see that the detail here is very thin but print very nice with Mighty 4K. Now let's look at the face. You, could, you can look at the tongue feature here. Very nice detail. And look at the skull and at the back here and look at the shield a very bad fossil because this is without anti-aliasing and now let me show you the mini 4k print side by side barely any difference but if we look at the beard here, the Mini 4K uh, has a more pronounced details compared to Mighty 4K on the left. And for the runes at the belt here, it has a more pronounced detail compared to Mighty 4K. But this is also a very good detail. Considering uh, this is the XY resolution is 52 micron and mini 4K, the XY resolution is 37.5 micron. So you decide if you want a mini or mighty 4K. Uh, let's check the shield. Okay, now let's take a look at print using Mighty 4K but with anti-aliasing. To close. This is Mighty 4K with anti-aliasing on the right, without anti-aliasing is on the left. Both still, I would say the detail is on par. They are equals in terms of details. You could see the writing here is also very clear and pronounced. I would say this is even more clear because there is no voxel lines like this. Uh, <laughs> this is funny because what we usually know that anti-aliasing could cause you lose details, but 
this make the details looks more pronounced because no fox line around the writings here if you look at here there is fox line around the writings <laughs> And for the beard and the hair lines, yeah, I would say I would love the details more on anti-aliasing compared to without anti-aliasing. Oh, correction, correction. For the hair lines, without anti-aliasing is more clear compared with anti-aliasing. Now look at the shield. And yeah, I prefer anti-aliasing in general compared to without anti-aliasing. Okay, now we will look at the anti-aliasing print from Mighty 4K compared to Mini 4K. Yeah, Mini 4K definitely, definitely more pronounced in details. This is the advantage if you are having 37.5 micron and look at the hairline and the beard definitely more detailed and pronounced on Mini 4K compared to Mighty 4K with anti-aliasing. Oh, I forgot to show you the comparison at the sword on the left without anti-aliasing on the right with anti-aliasing very smooth and let's take a look back at mini 4k compared to mighty 4k Now look at the top here, the top details around here, with and without anti-aliasing. This is clearly without anti-aliasing and this is with anti-aliasing. Smoother surface compared to without anti-aliasing. So my final conclusion for Mighty 4K is the stability torture test. It is uh, checked. It is passed with flying color after I'm using super loops, of course. And for the anti-aliasing, it works. This means less sending time to get rid of fox lines. And for the print details, uh, without macro lens or any close-up camera, you could barely notice the difference from Mini 4K and Mighty 4K. And I also have another printer with similar build size to Sonic Mighty 4K. I might do a comparison in the next video. So if you live in Indonesia and you want to buy Sonic Mighty 4K, I will suggest you to go to Indocard. You can buy there online or visit their store uh, i like indocart because they have a very friendly staff and technician and also a very good post sale service and the technician is very helpful for for your troubleshooting although i usually do the, my troubleshooting on my own and i guess that is all for today's video in depth testing for sonic mighty 4k thank you for watching and see you in the next video